Are you looking for a way on how to play Pokemon Legends ZA into your PC? If you are, then this is the perfect video tutorial for you to watch today because I'm going to teach you that. So first of all, what you need is that you will need to have all these four files here that I have highlighted here. So these files are the Nintendo Switch firmware and the Nintendo Switch keys. Both should be in version 20.1.1 or version 20 at least. And at least you have an NSP or XCI file format of Pokemon Legends ZA. And also you will need an emulator to be installed into your PC. And for this video tutorial, we'll be using Yubing emulator. So before we follow this guide, I need you to agree that you have already purchased a legal copy or a physical copy or a digital copy of Pokemon Legends ZA. Uh, or you have pre-ordered it. So once you own the game, then you can proceed in following this video tutorial. So, Let's open a new browser, go to Google, and just search Rubing Emulator in Google and hit search. The first one that will, uh, the first one or the first result would be Rubing GitHub page, so be sure to click on that. Then scroll down below and look for the latest build. And here, you can find a stable release here, so just click on that weird link and then just download uh, the installer that you need. If you're from Linux, you can get Linux or Mac. OS, get the Mac OS version here. And for those who are in Windows, same as me, just click on the Windows zip file. So since I have already downloaded this file, so I'm just gonna skip on this because I have already downloaded it here, as you can see. So let's open that zip file now. If you have downloaded it, open it, then click on publish folder. Then all you need to do is just create a new folder, name it Ujinx, Ubing, or whatever you want to call it. So just create that folder, select all these files that's inside the zip file and just drag and drop them to copy them here so that you will now have fully installed Ryujinx emulator. So I'm just going to close in that because I have it here already properly installed. So go ahead, click on the application file, run it now, double click it. And I'm just going to minimize this and I'm going to assume that you have Ryujinx. So your Ryujinx emulator will not look like mine because mine has been fully set up and I have already installed the necessary files for it to detect and play and switch games but for you it will look empty. So uh, first of all you will need to have these three files. So you will need to have the Nintendo Switch case and the Nintendo Switch firmware it should be in version 20 so that it can detect the Legend CA. Now if you're asking me on how to get all of these files the most legal way to do this is that you own and purchase a legal copy or a physical copy of the Legend ZA and that you own a Nintendo Switch console and then you have modded it and have installed a custom firmware in it because if it has now a custom firmware installed in it that means you can now fully access your Nintendo Switch system files once you have those system files just copy and look for the keys and the firmware, fi firmware file version 20.1.1 then transfer them into your PC just like mine here so if you know how to do that, then please do that. And for those who do not know but want to get a copy of these files, as long as you purchase the game and that you have an Nintendo Switch console, then you can proceed on this guide again, okay? So I'm just gonna leave a QR code here, scan it with your QR code reader, so that you will be redirected to the page where and you can get all of these three files. So be sure to follow the instructions in the website so that you can get all of these three files. So if you have downloaded this, via your phone, then uh, transfer them into your PC now. And I'm going to assume that you have already done that. So let's go back to Rubing. Go to Rubing. The first thing that we will need to install is the keys. To install the keys, all you have to do is just go to Actions, Install Keys, Install Keys here, create a new folder, name it Keys, open that, open the keys zip file. All you have to do now is just copy the product keys and title keys inside, drag and drop, Place the file destination because I have the file ready. Close in this, then click on product key, select that, open. Hit yes, hit OK. Now the next step is to install the firmware. Just go to actions, install firmware, install firmware from XR zip file. Locate for the firmware file and hit open. Hit yes. And Rubing has successfully installed the firmware and the keys of the intent switch. So hit OK. So you're Rubing emulator now will show um, the game icons of each game that you have already put into your PC. So it will show you the game icons of all the Nintendo Switch games that you have. 
Now, as you can see here, I have become a legend ZA version 1.0. I have not installed the update of the game because it will crash you being so yeah, we'll run the game with the base version of Become Legend CA. So in order for us to play this game with no issues, we will need to optimize it. And to optimize it, let's just go to options and go to settings. And in this part, just be sure that you pause the video and copy every setting that you see here for each tab that I'm going to show you. Okay, pause and copy the settings. So the game directories is where in you will put your Switch games or your emulators. Uh, you put uh, the XEI or NSP files of Switch games here because that is the only file extension that you've been can read. Now go to it. It's better to use a controller, so be sure to connect your Xbox, PlayStation, your PC controller, or better yet, your Nintendo Switch Pro controller here, and then map them up according to your liking. The dead zone should be in point 20 in both left and right sticks to um, solve the drifting issues into your controller if you have one. So be sure to change that. I go to system, uh, these are default settings, but be sure to check the FS activity checks. Go to CPU, be sure to check the PPTC, go to graphics, most important setting, so be sure to copy everything here. So graphics backend, Vulkan API, preferred GPU is that you have a dedicated graphics card, at least GTX 1060. If you have a GTX 1060, then you'll be able to play all of the Nintendo Switch games with no issues at all. Be sure to check enable shader cache, enable macro HLP, um, your solution scale is subjective. If you have a powerful CPU and graphics card, then you can go for uh, 4K resolution here or 8K resolution. Uh, it depends on you on what resolution you want to play in, but for me, two times resolution is the best. For those low performing uh, CPU, let's go for native resolution. Anti aliasing is SMA Ultra, you can change this to none. Scaling filter, FSR, you can change this to bilinear. And isotropic filtering, 16, you can change this to auto if you want. Aspect ratio of 16 by 9 because that is my monitor resolution. Once done, go to audio settings and these are my settings here. Once done, hit apply and hit OK. And congratulations, your Ubing emulator is now fully capable of playing Pokemon Legend ZA and any Nintendo Switch games now into your PC. So a little bit of a disclaimer, uh, we will not be able to show you a gameplay of this game because we all know how strict Nintendo is today. And if I show you a gameplay of this game, then surely my channel will be taken down and my videos will be taken down and get a copyright strike on this. So I hope you guys do understand on that part that I am willing to show you guys some proof that this Richard trail is working. That is why I'm gonna boot up Pokemon Legends ZA into the title screen, but I'm just gonna burn the screen from here on out so that Nintendo will not be able to hit me with their, any of their copyright strikes into my channel. I'm just gonna burn the screen here. So I am now in the title screen and it runs well, no issues at all. So I'm just gonna stop the emulation. So as long as you have followed all the steps that I've shown you in this guide, you'll be able to play Pokemon Legends ZA uh, easily into your PC with no issues at all. So if you have some questions regarding the installation process of this game, then just leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer all of them. So if uh, this video is helpful, please do like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Uh, this will help my channel massively. Thank you for watching, see you next time, and goodbye for now.